member of the Confederation Marine Modelers. Uh, we build and run scale radio control model boats and Thursday nights is our night for our club members to get together to have a bit of a fun run. Put our boats together and have a bit of chit chat and have a good time. You know, I live in these apartment buildings just up the road up here and uh, the people in the uh, building, they know what I do. When, do you, when is your boat? When are you going to be down in Spencer? When are you going to be in Spencer? And they come down here. Yeah. No, people, it, the word gets out, you know, they come down here and they see what's going on. You know, we pick up some uh, membership from that. We get a lot of people coming by with their kids because they, they bring the kids down here for the various uh, attractions that are available for the children. Uh, but as soon as they spot boats in the water, usually the kids want to see more of what's going on. And surprisingly enough, sort of most of the dads. So uh, they come over, they look, they talk, they ask us generally how fast will it go and uh, where did you buy it? And we generally tell them that, uh, you know, it goes this fast and more cases than not, we didn't buy it. We built it up as a kit or we built it perhaps from scratch. A couple of weeks ago, there was a lady and gentleman standing just about where I am right now, and uh, I noticed, so I went over and started talking to him. She said to him, she said, I think this would be a good thing for you to do. So I'm telling him how easy it is, you know, to get into it, and, you know, but get some help, come and see us, and uh, we'll all help you if we can. We get involved with uh, sometimes even going to the hospitals, to some of the uh, wards in the hospitals, uh, uh, yacht clubs and retirement homes. We've been over to the, uh, the nursing home that the Armed Forces runs over at Sunnybrook uh, and put on a display there. And that usually brings back good memories for them because almost invariably one of them has been involved somehow in, in the Canadian Navy or the U.S. Navy or in some fashion. So they, they kind of, they kind of uh, you know, connect with what we're doing. They're a great bunch of guys. Um, if you if you ask them, most of them will volunteer, give you some help. There's a gentleman just walked by here a few moments ago, and he's a relative union member, and he needs a little bit of help. He needs somebody who can you know help him out. I've been to his house, showing him how to put planking on the on the deck of his boat, and uh, it's that that's what we do for each other. I think an important thing is we don't we don't judge anyone's work. When they bring a boat out to the pond, especially one of their first efforts, we work hard to make sure they realize they've done a good job. It doesn't matter whether that job is up to other people's standards, they've done the best possible job they can. What we encourage them to do is on their next project do a little bit better. I think it's a fabulous hobby. I think we all need hobbies. Guys say, well, we're I mean, fishing or golfing or whatever. And this is a great hobby because it's not expensive. It doesn't have to be expensive. And you can sit and relax and talk to other people. Um, it's just a great camaraderie, just all over. These guys are just, they're nice guys.